Hi everybody. I have spent the morning trying to figure out a way to get some resources to you from my website. And that's also for future lessons as well. So I figured it out and you guys are going to be my guinea pigs to see if it works. <laughs> and if you're new to me on Instagram live, I am casual here. All of us here at home, five of us here at home during quarantine and dogs and I'll have to clear my throat and you'll hear barking and airplanes and all sorts of things. So we're going to paint this today and this doesn't show up very well because it has a black background on the screen. So um, I'm going to do it with a gray background, but I would recommend that you do yours with a black background. And before we get started, I want you to go ahead and um, see if my <laughs> my thing worked this morning with getting downloads for you. So go to my website. Um, on your iPad, go to my website, uh, Layla and Post Studio. It's, it's spelled, I know, it's a challenging way to spell s stuff. So it's L-E-I-L-A for Layla and po p o dot studio and that gets you to my portfolio this is going to be a hidden page that you're about to find here so layla and pose studio gets you here i have free procreate brushes here not too many but there are two separate downloads there but if you go to the url of your of your uh, browser and make sure that the whole thing is not highlighted and your cursor is just at the end. And then type the forward slash, so it's this direction, and type IGTV. This is a hidden page. And it should look like this. I'm going to go slow for this part. Because <laughs> I want you to follow along and get these downloads. So this is password protected and the password is ICE, I-C-E. So tap on this um, silver painted ornaments and then tap the password in here. ICE, I, I don't know if it's case sensitive and tap submit. Let me know if I'm going too fast and then tap download. And then this one takes a little bit. It's a zipped file. It's downloading even though my little arrow and progress bar aren't showing anything. If you tap on it, you can see it's counting up here. And uh, and then it'll all of a sudden be done. So I'm not sure why the thing didn't do its little thing. And tap that. And it brings you to your files. So if you don't know where you are, you just, when you tap on that, it brings you to your files tab and all iPads have that. Now you're in your download section. If you don't remember the name of that folder and you have all this stuff here, it's going to be hard to find it. It is called glass ornaments. So um, if I go back right here, it'll show you this little menu over here and you can go to downloads. You can go to recents. But because it's a zipped file, as soon as you tap on that, it's going to end up going to downloads anyways, and then you're still going to have to find it. So find the glass ornament zip file. It looks just like this. I'm hoping the lighting is working. Is the lighting working for everybody? And okay, if you joined us late, I see Sarah. Thank you, Sarah, has um, put the 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 URL for my website for the downloads, and then you'll need a password, which is ICE. So go to the zip file and just tap it. And because I've already done this, mine says glass ornaments too. My first one was right here. And that unzips it. And this is new for iOS for since like, I don't know, iOS 13. Um, it didn't used to be able to unzip, so this is nice. Um, gosh, if you have an older iPad, you might have trouble with this and I, I don't know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, okay. And then you just tap that folder and what I've provided is a glitter image and the free image from Pixabay 
for our resource today for our uh, photo reference and a free brush. I gave you my icy brush. We make this icy brush in my texture brush 101 class on Skillshare um, along with a bunch of other brushes. We're not actually using this brush today. You can, um, but I wanted to get that out today. So uh, to get to these for the brush, you can just tap on it and it'll go right to Procreate and where you'll find it is I, mine goes to the very bottom whenever it's a single individual brush and not a whole brush set. It goes into this imported folder. So if you download a whole brush set, it goes to the very, very top of all the categories as a whole brush set, but a single one ends up at the bottom. I don't know why. All right, so then you have that. You can move that um, and I'll show you that later. So if you go back into your files, if you tap the glitter, then you can tap this little up arrow here in the corner and you can save image. And that should save it to your camera roll. If you do the same thing for the photo reference. This was on Pixabay, but it was kind of hard to find. It took me forever to find it, so I didn't want to have to go through that this morning. Sarah's being my tech person. Let me stop for a minute and let people get caught up and look at, look at any questions. <laughs> and Sarah's comment, thank you, Sarah. It auto-corrected, so the password is ice, not the sword. <laughs> As sword, it says. Repeat how to get the brushes. Okay, so Sarah did that down below. You won't need this brush for this lesson. You'll need the glitter and the reference photo. The brush is just a little freebie. All right, scrolling back a bit, it looks like people are good. All right, so once you save those, let's check our camera roll. Sometimes if, so they're here, um, here's a picture of the ice brush on an ornament. So sometimes for me, I have to make sure I'm in the recents um, images. Uh, if I'm just up in library, it just doesn't show me everything I want to see. So, oh, and I'm giving away, I'm giving away what I'm working on next. <laughs> a little bit of a giveaway. Okay, so we have those in our images. That's good. And now let's go back into Procreate. This is, uh, if you're gonna do all three ornaments, I would do um, a longer Procreate canvas. You can't get into the ice area. Scroll up a little bit and um, see Sarah SRES777's comment. It's Layla and Poe dot studio and then slash IGTV and then when you tap on oops when you tap on this link here silver painted ornaments it will bring you to the download and then you tap ice for the password. So, all right. I'll stop every few minutes and look back at that. I now that I'm this is my first time doing this for the password thing, so um I think next time it looks like I have space on the screen at the top or the bottom where I can put a little handwritten note for people who are joining late. So we're going to go into Procreate. If you've joined late, go ahead and just follow along with us at this point and don't worry about the downloads yet. So tap the plus sign and the plus sign again. And I do inches. If you're in another country, you probably don't. So um, just kind of do uh, a typical rectangle size canvas for you. Um, 
kind of the size of the iPad really and make sure you're at 300 dpi. So I'm just going to do 10 wide by 8 high. So it'll be 10 by 8 this way, 300 dpi, and tap create. And I'm going to change my background to dark gray. Uh, yours should be black, but that doesn't show up so well in IGTV. It makes this color wheel very, very washed out, and I can't change that about the camera here. And I am going to pull the reference photo into a layer just so I can not have to do a split screen here, which is what I usually do when I have my iPad in the landscape mode. So just go ahead and press the wrench tool, add, insert photo, and then grab. See, it's, it's not going to the um, recents, so you can change that up there and grab that photo. Thank you, Sarah, for keeping keep posting about it. Um, and I'm just going to move it up. Now I like to two finger swipe and just alpha lock that layer so I can't really do much to it or on it. So I don't accidentally write on it later. <laughs> I like to start with a few layers. I'm slowing down here a little bit. Just making sure people can catch up. And I'm not going to use my brush stamps. I, I have brush stamps for these shapes in my vintage ornament class, but I'm doing this without any special brushes. So I'm going to go to the wrench tool and canvas, and I'm going to turn on my drawing guide, edit drawing guide, go to symmetry, and it defaults to the vertical symmetry. I'm going to change my line color so I can see it better and so you can see it better. You can make your line color whatever you want. And I'm going to go to the calligraphy section of the native brushes and go to monoline. And this can be any color you want. So I'm going to make it a nice bright color. This is going to go away so it doesn't matter what color it is. And now you make sure drawing assist is on on the layer. It says assisted. If it's not on, you can tap the layer and turn it on right there. You can turn it off the same way. And you're going to make um, your ornament shape, whatever shape you want. We're going to do the circle today. So, well, you know what? Oh, my dog is scratching at the door, I'm sorry. I'm going to go to a layer that does not have drawing assist on and just draw a circle really quick. It's an easier way to draw a circle to just let it snap. I'm making mine big for this tutorial so you can see it better. I'll crop that image in a second. And then I'm going to fill it. And then I'm selecting it with this arrow and I'm turning on snapping. I always keep my distance pretty high and then I'm going to just let it snap to the center and I see a gold line here, so I just want to be right on the center. I'm going to crop my um, photo here really quick. I just need the round image here. And now I am going down to the assisted layer, and I'm just going to get the little shape of the top of the ornament added like that, and then it did it symmetri symmetrically on both sides. You can merge those layers. Add another layer, turn on drawing assist. If you want, this part doesn't really matter if you're on drawing assist. And pick a color, maybe an orange. I'm going to go really small for my monoline brush, and I'm going to make a cap. So I'm just going to do a super simple cap right now. Oh, that's not contrasting enough. My lighting isn't so great right now. I move stuff around and I'm regretting it a little bit. <laughs> so I'm making a little cap. And filling that in. It doesn't really matter what shape or anything. It can just be straight across on the bottom 
just kind of make it a little bit, you know, fitting for the bulb size. Don't make it super big or tiny. All right, so we have a cap on a layer and we have the bulb on a layer. I'm gonna stop and... Oh, Brenda Bacher's here. She's Deck Webble on Instagram. Taking a work break. Oh, you're at work. I usually check with Brenda and make sure she can come. <laughs> Come watch me. But I didn't. I, I just decided this uh, last minute last night to do this. So I just picked a time. Thank you for popping in, Brenda. Okay. Brenda actually also has Skillshare classes. Uh, she has a great bobble, like a very magical um, bobble, ma uh, Christmas bobble Skillshare class. So I'm going to turn the cap off. We're going to turn both of them off. We don't need those anymore. We also don't need that line, so you can turn the drawing guide off. And now I'm going to tap my ornament layer and tap select. And I'm hoping you can see this. I'm going to look at my screen so you can see that my Ornament is selected and over here is all gray lines. Beverly, okay, so quickly to get the glitter brush, or it's not a glitter brush, um, it's a glitter image. And this image, go to Layla and Poe Studio, that's my website but then do the forward slash and type IGTV. And you'll get to a page where you can tap on the silver painted ornaments title um, for getting to the downloads. And then uh, the password is ICE, I-C-E, ICE. So if you're confused about l so many layers, um, yeah, it's just something you kind of get used to and everybody has their different way of using layers. So I always start with a few layers. Some people don't like that. If you can't see your um, selection very well, you can actually go into the wrench tool and go to prefs and then selection mask visibility. You can adjust it right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn mine up so it's really noticeable on screen. All right, so we're ready to, I got to remember what I'm doing. Oh, the painted ornament. <laughs> so we're in the calligraphy section and I used a different brush, but I tested this script brush and it works really well. So go to the script brush and this is the part where it doesn't work so well to have your image under this mask. So if you'd rather have your image um, in a little reference window, you can go to the wrench tool, go to canvas and tap this reference. You get this reference window that pops up. Right now it's showing my canvas. But if you tap image and import, you can import from your camera roll and then you can move this around. <laughs> this is my drawing. I tapped the wrong image. So again, it's not in the right album. All right. So you can adjust the size of your window by these bottom two corners. You can tap the top to expose the little options here and you can two finger move things around like this and then you can move the whole thing around as well so that's that's good right there I haven't used this function in a while it was really laggy when I was using it there was an update that did say it fixed that lag but I haven't used it since then uh, Magnolia if you scroll up to Sarah's comment are um what's Sarah what's your handle again s res 777 so you go to Leyland Post Studio Magnolia 
um, and then um, slash IGTV, and the password is ICE. Okay, so I have my reference photo. I have my selection. I'm surprised that stayed selected through all of that. And if you just look at what you're seeing on the front, so you're seeing things back behind on the back side of the ornament, but we're just going to focus on these swirls that are on the front. They all start up here at the cap, and they actually all end down here, but you know, the ones that go off to the side, you can't see, you can't see where it goes down there. So you don't need to draw that part. You just need to draw over to the side. So I'm just going to pick a, a light gray. This part, again, you can change this color later. So just don't worry about color so much. And I'm on a big size on studio or script in the calligraphy section. And I'm just going narrow then adding pressure to get thicker, 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 and making little S's. Oops, I need to be on the right layer. So any, any blank layer will do. So this part is part that you need to spend some time on. It doesn't need to look exactly like that. You can do your own thing. And it's okay if the edges aren't perfect because the glitter will hide that later. So normally I would kind of spend time making sure I don't have this, this kind of jittery edge here, but I'm not worrying about that because the glitter will hide it. So since we're kind of rushing, that one didn't end in the middle down here. Since we're kind of um, not wanting to spend two hours on IGTV here today or on, on live here today, just get some stripes on with some gaps in between. Have them starting up here and kind of swishing off to the side. I'm going to alpha lock this layer. I just chose to do alpha lock instead of a clipping mask. Um, you can easily just do a clipping mask as well, doesn't matter. And now I'm looking at those stripes and I'm seeing that they are lighter right here and they get kind of darker up here and darker down here and that's going to give it that curved look. So I'm going to the artistic category and I'm going to Lara Puna and then I'm going to tap on Lara Puna Go to color dynamics and turn this hue off. It's a color changing and it's so slight, but it I don't like it. <laughs> and I don't think we need to make any more changes. I usually make it a little bit bigger, but we don't need it big in this project. So you just tap done. When you change a native Procreate brush, you can um, swipe and reset it to get it back to what it originally was. You cannot delete these. You don't have a delete option here, so you don't need to worry about that. If you want to duplicate the brush and then make changes to that, or if you drag this brush out to another category, it brings a duplicate out. That one, it kind of acts like your own brush. It can be deleted and um, it's no longer the considered the original brush. The original brush will always stay here. All right. So I'm going to go to a darker gray, a big Lara Puna size. I'm on like 90%. I'm on alpha lock on this layer. And I'm just kind of, you can do this with a lot of different brushes. I like a texture. This doesn't have texture, but I still use a textured brush for this. And hopefully you can see this color changing happening here. The just the, um, the shadowing that I'm adding. I'm going to be smearing this too. I'm going to go to a darker gray. I have gray on as my background because of Instagram Live. It just doesn't like the black. Um, but you should be having black. If you're having a black background to your final work, start with a black background or any dark background to your final work. 
I like starting with it that way because it does make a difference. If you start light and then you're adding color and then you change it to a dark, it doesn't, it doesn't look like you think it would. All right, tap and hold the smudge tool and that selects that same brush as the smudge. And then I can just kind of smear it so I don't have quite as much texture and I'm also pulling it around. And I'm not spending as much time as I would if I were just on my own. So you can spend as much time as you want getting this as perfect or as imperfect as you want. Just looking at this, it's darker up here and here and it's lighter through the middle. Maybe a little darker over here. Oops. And the Lara Puna brush, you can actually smear with it even while you're on the brush brush. So that's kind of nice. So that's what we're going to walk away from that for now. And now we're going to go back to our ornament. Oh, let me stop and see. Yep. Yeah, if you joined late, we did have some downloads you'll need to grab later. Okay, so go back to your ornament layer, tap it, and select it. And that's going to keep us trapped in that ornament shape. And now I'm looking at the stripes that are on the back and they're very distorted. I need to go to a layer that's under this one because it's behind. I'm going back to my script brush in the calligraphy section right here. And back to a lighter gray. It is kind of dark back there. And they just kind of, it doesn't, this part, it isn't, it's not as important as these front ones because <laughs> they're very distorted, so you don't need to worry too much, but they do curve this way and then this way and then back to the middle. So just get them starting in the top and ending in the middle. Do a little S, have some space between them. Just don't worry about perfectionism. See how quick that was? All right, we're gonna do the same thing to that one. So I'm gonna turn on alpha lock. The selection does not need to be there now because alpha lock is on, so you can just tap that. I'm going to the Lara Puna brush in the artistic section. And I'm gonna go darker and add some dark to the top and the bottom again. I'm hoping this is visible on the screen. So gray. <laughs> Make sure you ask questions. If you have questions, I will stop every couple minutes. Showing my layers. Okay, so I have an ornament layer and then you turn it off, but you use it to select it to get the shape. And I have a cap layer. This is just my photo reference, which I'm not using now because I'm using the reference layer here. And I have this stripey image that's the stripes I see on the front of the ornament. And I have the stripes that I see on the back of the ornament. And that's all I have so far. And then I'm going to a layer in between those. If you look closely at your photo, you'll see it's not perfectly clear. We're not looking at the super bright highlights yet, but we are looking at the glass that isn't painted. So I'm going to select my ornament and I'm on the layer in between those two stripe layers we just did. And I'm gonna go to Lara Puna and a pretty light gray. Big size, biggest size. And I'm just gonna add a little bit, just a little. I can remove some if I get too much. 
it's just going to add a little bit of something that's not completely 100% clear, but it's also just barely there. And I'm going to smudge on full size too. I'm going to tap erase and hold erase because I have a little bit too much right here. And then smudge that again. So it's just barely there. I'm going to turn my selection off so you can see. And I'm going to turn my background down so you can see that how it's just barely there. It does show the edge of the ornament here. It shows just a little something. So at this point, you can look at your super bright highlights. They're on the glassy parts that are not painted with stripes. These are like a frosty part here. So you can just add a new layer. You don't really need to use the selection for this one because you're really just putting a couple highlights in the middle here. And go to white. You can go to lots of brushes. I really like the painterly look. I know I keep repeating that. So I've just um, have been sticking with this. Sorry, my dogs are banging on the door. I'm under the layer that has this first stripe layer that we did and that's because I can be messy and not have to worry about getting that white um, on that layer. It's under it. I'm gonna zoom way in. So if you look closely, I don't wanna zoom in on that too much, but if you look closely at that, there's just kind of some stretched out white shiny areas. So get a nice bright, bright, bright area there and you can go to the smudge tool. You can smear that around a little bit this way to make the distortion kind of um, Give that distorted look. If you really want a realistic look, you might want to use a different brush and get it to be really close to that shape. There's a little bit of a bright spot right here that's not super bright, but it is there. So you don't need a lot and it makes a big difference, it makes it really look like glass. I'm going to stop for a second and I don't see any questions, so that's good. All right, and now we're gonna do what is going to end up being our glitter layer. So the glitter is on the edges of these frosty looking layers here. And I'm gonna go on top of all of these layers that are part of our ornament. I'm not using the selection tool because the glitter does kind of stick out past the edge of that ornament. And if we kept the selection on, it would be trapped within that shape. So for the brush, just go to sketching. You could go to, let's go to inking. And we can go to dry ink. I forgot to test out. I use dry ink for lots of things. And go to a color that's really noticeable. So it's not going to show up later. I'm at about 20% on dry ink. This is where you can make your glitter look super precise or like somebody glued it on and it's a little bit messy. So that's all up to you and your style. I don't like saying your style because so many people say, I don't know what my style is. And that's, you know, just the, I should say your preference, whatever your preference is. So we're going to get all of the glitter lines drawn along the edges of these stripes that are on the top layer. We're not worrying about the bottom layer. We can't see glitter. We can see that there's a line down there and we're just going to draw a white line on that bottom layer later. So this is, I'm rushing. If you don't complete this part in class in this uh, lesson, um, uh, that's not surprising because this part is a little bit time consuming to get it exactly how you want it. And um, 
when you're done, it's going to be, you won't be able to edit it unless you just start over on the glitter step that we're about to do. And I'll show you how to edit if you make a mistake and you want to change something about your glitter layer. You don't have to start over completely. But you're going to focus on everywhere that you want glitter to be. So if you're doing one of the ornaments that's not round, there's a whole bunch of glitter down at the tip, the bottom tip of those ornaments. And I also want to stick my color outside of the edges a little bit, just so that glitter is kind of, you know, looks like dried on glitter glue kind of bumping out there anywhere where it meets an edge. Spend a bunch of time making sure you've got all your red or whatever color you're choosing where you want your glitter to be. And now we're going to bring in our glitter. So if you started late, if you go to Layla and Poe Studio, I'm sorry, Layla and Poe dot studio slash IGTV you'll get to the downloads and the um, password is ice. All right, so go to the wrench tool, add, insert photo, and grab your glitter. I just gave you gold because you can change this to any color. If I gave you silver, you can't change it to any colors easily. So you can go into hue, saturation, and brightness, go to layer, and you can change color here or you can turn it to silver just by turning saturation all the way down. So do whatever color you want. I'm gonna zoom out a little. What I'm gonna do is just make it big enough to cover my ornament. The smaller you make it, the finer that glitter is gonna look on your ornament. So cover everything that needs to have glitter on it, but then turn it off. We don't need to see that anymore. Now you're going to, you can also turn your red layer or whatever your glitter layer is going to be. You can turn that off as well, but you're going to tap it and select it. And then you're going to go to the glitter layer and tap it and copy it. I'm just going slow for this part because this can be tricky. And I'm going to go ahead and these are kind of all layers that we don't have turned on at the end. So I'm going to keep my other layers together that we do keep on. So I came down below that glitter layer that we drew out onto a fresh layer, three fingers swipe down and paste. So there's one more layer and that is the glitter that we know is there on those layer on that back layer that we have this layer right here just add a layer above it go to a pretty light gray something that's lighter than what's there stay on that dry ink and I'll just zoom in and show you what I'm doing here I'm just drawing what would be essentially the back of the glitter glue that's back there. I can darken this later with that hue saturation brightness. So if you look closely at your reference photo, you can see there's um, white lines, not white, but light gray lines on the outside edges of those stripes where the glitter goes. Make sure I got them all. So 
so it's a little bit bright. I could either just reduce the opacity or go to hue saturation brightness and change the brightness. And while I'm here messing around with these layers, I'm going to turn the opacity down on our top main stripe layer just a little so it looks more frosty and you can see through to the stripes on the back just barely. So I'm at like 90% and actually doing that now I see I need to add a little bit more stripes. <laughs> I was cheating and skipping those stripes back there and now I can see where they're missing. So that's these stripes of glitter where we are trying to make it look like there's, we're seeing the underside of the glued on glitter there. I'm just going to add more stripes where I can see they're missing. All right, that's good. So pretty. Voila, Veronica. <laughs> For the cap, we're going to go select it and go to a, another layer down here above. You can group all your ornament layers if you want. I'm going to a layer on top of all of those ornament layers that are currently on. And I'm going to pick a dark gray and I'm going to fill it. I, of course, chose the same color as my background. Let me change my background a little bit. Hopefully that's not going to make the Instagram go crazy. All right, I lightened my background. So now I'm on my cap layer. I'm going to go back to the calligraphy section. Are we running out of time? 1142. All right, we're good. Calligraphy monoline brush. Whatever size you want for that loop. You can tap and hold if you want it to be all perfect. Make adjustments to it. If you want it to look like it's more at an angle like this, just make it a tall, skinny loop like that. All right, and I just, you can do a clipping mask on top of this, or you can just alpha lock it by two finger swiping. And if you zoom way in on this, there's a lot of detail. I don't do that but you can see that it's really, really bright right here, darker on the sides, and it's dark on the top. So those are the, the little details that you can focus on without being super precise. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on a clipping mask actually, so I can easily make changes. So the dark is my dark base color. So now I need to add light to get those highlights. So you can go pretty light, almost to white if you want. I'm going to go to Lara Puna, so go to Artistic. It's just a brush that I really like. So this is kind of a, a messy look um, when you're looking close up. But you can see you have a bright, oops, I need it even smaller, a bright ring here. So that kind of gives you the line for where you're going to work on everything below it to brighten up that section. Get a little bit going on over here and over here. <laughs> I'm going to rush through this part. If you have it a little darker over here and really bright in the middle here, when you zoom out, it's going to look great. Trust me. And then up here, you can get some brightness on couple sections of the ring. Maybe add a little texture up here too, just so it's not plain. And then smudge a little bit. I do uh, another little uh, cap on a different Instagram live. So it's in my IGTV. And when you zoom out, it looks great, right? <laughs> That's what matters. Can you repeat that after the white lines? Uh, 
I'm not sure which white lines, if you're talking about the lines down here or the white line up here. You're talking about on the cap. Oops, I need my brush brush. You might have to go back and rewatch. It'll be posted in my IGTV when we're done. I used a brush um, from my class for this hanger and I didn't practice which native brush you could use. So let me just cycle through. I don't think there's anything, there's the stipple brush that doesn't really work. Let me know if you can think of a brush that would work for the little cute little hanger. They don't really have brushes like that. Huh. Well, that's too bad. So uh, I'm just gonna go into the inking section and stay on dry ink and go to a pretty bright color and draw a line, I guess. Oops, I need a new, um, I'm on a clipping mask. So I need a new layer. If you're new to clipping masks into Procreate, the clipping mask is only gonna show up above whatever it's clipped to. So it's clipped to this shape. So anything I draw over here is not gonna show up. Only the things that are above that, that shape. So I need a new layer that's not a clipping mask. And just draw a little hanger. You can just make a simple little loop and then erase part of it. So whatever part you want to look like it's going behind. If you have my vintage ornament class brushes, you have lots of options for that. <laughs> my new brush creation will be, yeah. Hi, Jean. It's my super fans are here. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm gonna turn the background black. Hopefully Instagram will be able to handle that. One of the things that you could do is turn the background off and three finger swipe down and copy all. And then if you just group everything so you can turn it off easily. And then go to a new layer and three finger swipe paste. You have your ornament on one layer now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my reference photo off by tapping that little X my background layer back on. When you have your whole image on one photo, one layer like this, you can play around with different colors. So if you go to the magic wand, you can go to gradient map or hue saturation brightness. Oh, you know what? Hue saturation brightness doesn't work because we're on gray. It needs to kind of start with a color. So that doesn't work. But the gradient map is going to be perfect for this because it takes different sh shades of gray and um, does things with it. So you can just go around and play here. I don't know. I'd probably not have my cap in the same layer and then start playing. So in that case, with the original, you can turn your cap layers off Turn the background layer off, copy all, go to a new layer, paste, gotta watch the time here. And then um, do the same thing, grabbing just the cap, copy all, I know I'm going fast, paste. I'm gonna turn everything back on here and turn the whole group off. All right, so now I have a flat layered cap 
and a flat layer of the bulb. And now if I play with gradient map, it's just going to affect the bulb. My cap will stay silver. I haven't done this yet, so well, that's kind of cool. All right. That's it. That's the ornament. We did it in 50 minutes plus downloads. So again, I'm going to review the downloads really quick. I'm going to scroll back and see if there's any questions. So everything will be in my IGTV when you're done. You won't be able to see the brushes on my website. It won't be a tab. Um, it's a secret page. <laughs> so you can just go to the main website. That'll bring you to the portfolio page. And um, so that's just LaylaAndPoe.studio. And then if you go up to the URL and make sure it's not highlighted, so just go to the end here and do forward slash IGTV enter. <clears throat> so that'll bring you to this page and then there's links to Instagram and my texture brush class and then you can go to that link right there for the download and type ICE I-C-E ICE and tap download this is in Safari it's going to be different if you have a different browser it doesn't look like it's downloading. I don't know why. If it's on my end with this zipped file, I don't think it is. Or if it's just a thing. It was downloading, it just wasn't showing the progress bar. And you can tap this. It was called Glass Ornament. And it'll be a zipped file like this. Tap that and it opens up a folder. Tap the folder and it opens up your resources. These are images, so if you tap them and, and um, save them in, into your camera roll, and then this is a brush, if you tap it, it'll import right into Procreate, and it will be at the very bottom, because it's a single brush, it will be at the very bottom of your categories in this imported section. I have no idea why Procreate does it this way. When you have a brush set, it imports at the very top, and individual brushes import into that very bottom category. So um, this brush might be fun to do right now if you select your, or you could do it around in the background, but you could also do it on the bulb itself. If you select that bulb shape and go to a layer that is underneath this top layer, maybe underneath the glossy, um, shiny glass layer, uh, go to a bright white. Maybe get a frosty look on there. I haven't tested this out yet. <laughs> so that's an option. Or you can go to, we'll get that deselected, go to a layer way down below and do some frosty background. It's pressure sensitive, so you can get a softer look. Ooh, softer look all the way behind it and then a brighter and it won't if you pick up your pencil and put it back down it is in the same place it just makes it brighter white it doesn't start a fresh um, it doesn't start the texture in a new location it just kind of makes it brighter white I don't like this little gap here and here so I'm going to select that and go to the free form and just stretch that out a little bit. There we go. So that's part of my brush texture. It has a gap in it. All right. That's fun. You got chills, Veronica? <laughs> I hope you had fun everybody. I know that was kind of a lot if you're a beginner. Um, I do have a beginner class in Skillshare. I have a lot in Skillshare actually. 
Um, but you know, if you really want to become familiar with Procreate, I recommend a beginner class. Um, and then I have a winter class that has mostly winter related things and a few Christmas things. And so even if you don't celebrate Christmas, there's a ton in that class that you can do, and it's all geared towards beginners. Um, it, it's from last year, so the interface is a little bit different um, because of the Procreate updates that have happened since then, but it's not so different that you can't figure it out, so it still works, and I've had people this year already playing with it and liking it, so um, yeah. And I have three classes on making brushes. I love making brushes and I haven't quite figured out how to teach making brushes like painterly brushes. Sorry, there's a loud car. I live in the Seattle area, <laughs> so it's rarely super quiet here. And there's street sweeper now. <laughs> So, you know, making making painterly brushes like my gouache brushes, I haven't quite figured out exactly how to teach that yet because those are hours of trial and error when I make those. Um, but I teach how to make stamp brushes, pattern brushes, and texture brushes. This is from the texture brush class, this icy one, but I'm giving that to you and um, you can learn how to make it and other similar brushes in the class. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah's saying the brush classes are a game changer. Um, I, I think so too. And uh, I don't buy brushes anymore. I do buy, I buy watercolor brushes because uh, those I don't, I would never be able to figure out how to make. And Brenda's back. <laughs> um, Brenda, we're done. And look, I put the icy brush on the background there probably a little overkill. It's a little brighter on the screen than it is on my screen. But um, yeah, and then we're gonna run out of time. Instagram's gonna shut us down in just like two minutes here. And I hope you enjoyed and um, just have fun with those resources. The picture for this reference photo was on Pixabay. It was hard to find. I think I searched glass ornament. I can't remember now. And um, go to my, my bio or yeah, my bio has a link to my Facebook group. We're a really friendly Facebook group. So only come there if you're willing to be friendly as well. <laughs> Where can I watch the replay? So it will go right to my IGTV as soon as I'm done. I mean, it probably takes a minute to upload. Um, so if you go to my main wall, I don't even know what it's called on Instagram, in the very center above where all of my images start, you'll see an icon that looks kind of like an old TV with antenna. And just tap that. All right. I would love it if you tagged me on any ornaments that you make from this so I can see and make sure I don't miss. I still might miss. I shouldn't say that. I'm so bad at Instagram. <laughs> really bad at missing. I miss everything. So I will try not to miss uh, things that you tag me on. Have a good day.